Okay, I think we can begin. Bienvenidos, bueno, buenas tardes. Espero que estén disfrutando del evento. Les queremos presentar, eh, tenemos aquí con nosotros a, a Mike Vosepka, que es el vicepresidente de la empresa Companion Corporation, eh, desarrolladores y creadores del sistema de gestión Alexandria. Alexandria fue desarrollado hace varias décadas atrás en los Estados Unidos. Eh, es una, un sistema que ha tenido una gran evolución con concentración en colegios, en universidades y en bibliotecas públicas. Y en particular, eh, Alexandria ha creado una sociedad con dos empresas más, de las cuales van a conocer para crear un bundle para aquellas instituciones que puedan eh, beneficiarse y que tengan la necesidad de la gerencia de metadatos, un sistema de gestión de biblioteca, al igual que eh, contenido. Interesante, Alexandria tiene más de 10.000 instalaciones en los Estados Unidos. Tiene cientos de clientes en todo el mundo, incluyendo Latinoamérica. Eh, como saben, todas estas reuniones están siendo grabadas. Van a tener acceso a ellas eh, justamente después, vía nuestro canal de YouTube o vía los correos que vamos a estar enviándoles. Al igual, pueden consultar el stand virtual de Alexandria, de la empresa Companion, vía la sala de expositores. Y obviamente tienen el chat para realizar cualquier tipo de pregunta que puedan tener. Tenemos el apoyo de Fabio Tuso, especialista en sistemas de gestión de ITMS Group. Y ahorita le cedo el espacio a Mike. Mike, uh, the floor is yours. You can begin whenever you like. Great. Thank you, Gabriel. And it's very nice to meet uh, all of you this afternoon. And, and thank you for your, your time. Um, we're very excited to be partnered with, with ITMS Group and excited to, to present the, this very unique opportunity, this very unique bundle that, that we have exclusively through ITMS. Um, I wanted to have my camera on just so you could see that there is a real life person here. But for the presentation, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and turn it off as we get started here. Uh, as Gabriel had mentioned, um, Companion Corporation is the organization behind Alexandria and, and the library software system that we're going to demonstrate today. One of the main reasons we're super excited about the partnership with, with ITMS Group is um, you know, over the last 32 years, uh, Companion Corporation, along with our vendor partners, Gumdrop Books, MightyNet, Global Grid for Global Grid for Learning. Uh, we have remained passionate about our mission of promoting library advocacy and, and keeping the library centered in that educational experience. And and what we're excited about ITMS Group is they share that same mission and that that same passion. So this this bundle is uh, very unique uh, and, and really ties well into helping you promote that library advocacy uh, in your institutions. So along with that, I'm just going to quickly go through a, a quick PowerPoint presentation here that kind of outlines how this bundle came to uh, fruition. And then we'll dive into a live demonstration for you of, of the product and the bundle itself. So our mission of promoting library advocacy uh, is driven uh, or helps drive our focus in, in really four key areas. And it is making sure that every person, every patron at your facility has equitable access to your collection, meaning they have access to it anytime, anywhere, on any device. Once we know that we've removed those limits of, of them having access to your collection, we want to make sure that we can get, keep them engaged and we want to make, that, make sure that that discoverability is seamless. We want to be able to put more of your amazing resources in your patron's hands to boost that circulation and again, to promote that uh, library advocacy. And that wouldn't be possible without our, our partner vendors. Just as your patrons are unique, your library is unique. And by us going out and partnering with the best in breed uh, vendor partners out there, such as Gumdrop, MightyNet, and Global Good for Learning, uh, and, and many more, we're, we provide you the opportunity 
to provide a true one size fits me library experience for your patrons. And above, above all that, uh, we obviously understand your success is our success. If you're not successful, we're not successful. So we are here to ensure, and we have systems in place to ensure that you are up and running with this bundle, uh, not only out of the gate, but long-term successfully. So I'm gonna dive into each one of these just a little bit further here. And when we talk about equitable access, Alexandria has taken a unique position to this. And it goes back to removing those limits, that library without limits. Alexandria is a completely appless, um, appless system, meaning that you don't have to download apps to your iPads, your iPhones, your Android phones. Every interface within Alexandria, you're gonna be able to fully access from a URL. Uh, and that removes those barriers and provides that equitable access that we want to deliver. So if you have old hand-me-down devices, you know the App Store eventually stops supporting those old operating systems. You will not have an issue with Alexandria when it comes to accessibility. Above and beyond that, we take that to a whole new level where we are the only library automation system out there that is WCAG AA standard or ADA AA standards across the entire platform. There's a lot of systems out there that, um, that claim that they are WCAG compliant, but it's generally only in one interface. Our entire system does that. And then when it comes to engagement, we understand that K is different than 12 and K is different than 20. Um, and, and therefore, we need to be able to have interfaces that support those learners that are just learning to read and all the way up to those learners that are, are reading to learn. And therefore, Alexandra provides multiple interfaces, which I'll showcase to you when we get to the live demonstration, to ensure that we can get uh, those patrons engaged in discovering your amazing resources very, very easily. Once we get them engaged, we want to make sure that th that, that discoverability happens seamlessly. And we're very excited, and this is a product that you'll learn more about in the next session. We are the only library automation system out there that has exclusive integration with the Bestmark tool. I'll dive a little bit more deeper into this, but you'll also learn more about this tool uh, in, an, in another session as well, but it is part of the bundle. And this allows us to enhance and improve and make sure that your uh, metadata, that data integrity is top notch so that we can put more of your resources in your students' hands, boosting, that, boosting your circulation statistics and having your patrons come back for more. Along with that, we also have great partnerships with Gumdrop as mentioned, um, and, and that is for those electronic resources. So as part of this bundle, you're gonna get electronic resources, eBooks and eBook subscriptions through Gumdrop books that are fully accessible from right within Alexandria. We are not gonna send you to a different platform. All that discovery, whether it's your physical materials, or your electronic materials are fully accessible right from within Alexandria. Again, building that library advocacy. The way that we do that is based off of the superb marks, the mark records that we get uh, that are exclusive to us through Gumdrop Books that allows those eBooks to be fully discoverable right from within Alexandria. The other nice thing about these uh, e-resources that you're gonna get as part of this bundle is they're called what's USA, which means they're unlimited, simultaneous access, meaning there are no limits, going back to our limitless library, um, no limits on how many times people can access them and how many people can access them at the same time. So that is also part of the bundle. <clears throat> Above and beyond that, we partner with a group called GG4L, and this is also part of the bundle as well. This allows us to seamlessly integrate with any student information system out there which really makes a set it, forget it patron management side of the system, saving you time and resources so that you can spend that time with your patrons, with your students, helping drive those student outcomes. Along with this integration, you also get federated single sign-on. And what I mean by federated single sign-on is uh, you can pick and choose which um, which user groups use which credentials to log into Alexandria. So when we say that, for example, you could have your students logging in with their G Suite credentials, for example, and then your faculty is actually logging in with their Active Directory credentials, and then your parents are logging in with their social media credentials. 
your institution has the flexibility, again, going without limits, to pick and choose how you want to leverage that single sign-on. And as we mentioned, your success is our success. We are the only library automation system out there that offers true 24-7 live support. So anybody in your facility can contact us 24-7, 365, and we are here to make sure that you are successful with this bundle. And that goes across all of our partners that are included in this bundle. All right, let's get into the fun stuff here and let's see what this bundle looks like in real life here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the PowerPoint. And the first area that I'm gonna dive into here with you is that discovery area. As we mentioned, we wanna make sure that we keep Alexandria centered in that educational experience. We want Alexandria to be that hub. And then we also wanna make sure that those readers that are just um, learning to read can access your collection just as easily and in a fun, engaging way as those readers that are uh, reading to learn. This is the hub. As I mentioned, everything is responsive design. So as I move my, as I shrink my screen, you'll notice that it responds so that no matter what device I'm clicking on this URL, it's going to respond and shrink and, and fit my, my device so that I have access all the time. So this is the hub, as I mentioned, and this is fully customizable by your institution all the way down to the individual uh, different schools that your institutions may, may have as well. So you can pick and choose what buttons you want here. You can pick your color schemes. You can add your own logos. Um, I've included a, a couple uh, of our existing customers so you can kind of see what they've done here. So this is one example of how they've customized their hub. Here's another example of how they've customized their hub. This allows you to create the experience that you wanna create for your patrons. These, can do, these buttons can search within Alexandria. They can also link out to external resources as well. Again, creating that hub. Going back to that K is different than 12, I just wanna quickly go through those different interfaces. So for a kid pack, this is gonna be great for those learners that are just learning to read. So as I go in here and I start typing in dogs, for example, I can click on dogs. And what it's going to do is it's gonna bring up in a nice little fun interface, the items that are only available. So this interface eliminates items that are checked out to eliminate any confusion. Now that is an option you can turn on and off if you want to, but right now it's defaulted to exclude items that are out. So if I click on Diary of Wimpy Kids here, you can see that's available. It gives me some basic, basic information. But what's really neat about this is we have a, a system built in that allows you to upload maps of your physical library. So this is great for those young kids. You can point them exactly to where that book is physically located in your facility, in your library, to, to get them to that resource and get it checked out as quickly as possible. Again, as I mentioned, responsive design. Fully accessible, any device, anytime, anywhere, okay? The next interface I wanna show you is our collections interface. And this allows you to create a fun, engaging environment where you can really point people to very specific things by clicking on buttons. So you can see here I have this split up in, in different collections within here. If I wanna go and see what this, this particular library, Alexandria Academy has in computer science, I've programmed that button to do, to do a search that showcases all the items that are related to computer science so I can get in here, find what I want, and get it checked out. One of our newer interfaces is our discovery interface. This is gonna be for those readers that are not quite sure what they're looking for. They kinda of wanna just browse your collection. And they can do that in a few different ways. It's nice because we have it in a shelf view format here. So right now I'm browsing by the newest. This is the newest items that have been added to this library. I can also go in here and browse by my most uh, my top rated checkouts, study programs. So for those uh, for those of you in the K twelve realm, um, if I want to find a book that's within my Lexile score or my accelerated or my accelerated reader levels, I can do that very easily. But what we really like about this interface is for those libraries who are struggling with genreifying their collection. So we have a lot of our customers that are trying to figure out how to physically genreify their collection. 
So here at Alexandria, we thought, well, heck, what if we can remove that barrier of how do I physically genreify my collection and let them leave it physically the way that it is, but let's let Alexandria actually do that genreification for you. And that's what we've created here. So if I click at action for at adventure fiction, for example, and I click go here, Alexandria is going to do all the work for me. And this is what your library would look like if you actually physically genreified your collection. And so you can see it in a shelf view here. Again, everything's responsive design. And then what's nice about this is you can leverage our map feature and then you can point your patrons to where that book is located physically in your library. So you've kind of digitally genreified your collection without having to go through the hassle of moving everything. Okay. And then last but not least, we have our standard OPAC. And within our standard OPAC, you can see you have a lot of extra customization here as well to create whatever experience you want within the OPAC as well. But this is where I can, for those, those uh, students or patrons that really want to kind of have a, a sophisticated search. So we have our Boolean search here as well. I can go in and, and type Harry Potter, search for Harry Potter here, and I can get my information. I can dive a little deeper into here as well, get access to more of that mark record. We have the ability to uh, save these um, tags. And the reason we do tags instead of links is because if you use links and you click on that link, you lose your initial search here. So what you can do is you can go in and, and select these tags as you're going through your initial search. And then when you're done with your initial search, I can then come up here and say, okay, I wanna actually now search on wizards because I didn't quite find what I, what I wanted, okay? Now I mentioned that as part of this bundle, you do have access or you will get access to e-resources through Gumdrop Books. And that is through these Lightbox subscriptions here. Notice that th that discovery happens right within Alexandria. And the, way, the reason that we do that is because we provide, we get a unique, what's called a superb mark from MightyNet. This superb mark even takes it a step further than what a full mark record looks like. And so I'll, I'll show you what an example of that is, but they include bisect codes. It includes geo, geolo, or geographic codes. I mean, it just makes sure that these resources, even though they're electronic, are fully discoverable right from within Alexandria. One of my favorites that is included in your bundle is this world languages here. What's really neat about this package is you get 1,210 different titles in all these different languages. So as I click on this URL, I can read through this book at my own pace. Let me turn my volume up here real quick. Earth is a planet. I can have it, it read to me. But what's amazing about this is I can change the language with a flip of a switch here. And I can also then have it read to me in those different languages, which is fantastic. So again, this is part of your bundle. This world languages package is part of your bundle. You get 1,210 titles with this functionality built in. I also mentioned earlier, but just as a reminder, all these eBooks and e-resources are unlimited simultaneous access. So you can, you, ha you can have unlimited users accessing these at the same time. These also come with unique URLs. So what's nice about this is this is a great way to get your faculty and your teachers involved in, uh, into your library system because these URLs can be copied and they can be pasted into any learning management system. So I've got my Alexandria Academy here. And from within here, I can go ahead and say, please read this by tomorrow. I'm gonna put a lot of pressure on them. Make sure they read it tonight. Copy and paste that URL in there. Again, this can be put into any learning management system out there. And those students can access that unique URL from anywhere from within your LMS, just with a click of a button. Okay. I mentioned that these resources are, let me go ahead and get out of that real quick, have the superb mark. So if I click on this, for example, you can see this mark record here as I scroll through it. Look how full that is. 
I'll even open it up even more so you can get even more of it. You can see how much of a, this mark record has as far as content goes. This is what your typical ebook record looks like. You can see it's very, very brief compared, oops, sorry, compared to your superb mark that you're going to get exclusively through this ITMS bundle, allowing these resources to be fully discoverable right from within your main core platform, Alexandria. Okay, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and leave the, the uh, catalog side of things or the OPAC side of things, and we'll dive into more of that, that administrative side. So how, how, the, how do you make these things discoverable? How do you check items in and out and those types of things? So as we get into that resource here, or in the, the uh, librarian workstation is what we call it, the first area that I want to dive into is that best mark integration. And that is, it's included in your bundle. And this is where you're going to be able to make sure that your metadata is as best as it possibly can be so that we can put more of your resources in your students' hands. And this is uh, that utility, <clears throat> pardon me. From here, I can select what books I want to run through or what resources I want to run through this utility. Once I select those resources, I now can go into the options and decide what I want to be, get added to my records. As you probably know, as librarians, uh, not every book has accelerated reader when you first purchase it. They don't always have Lexile. They don't always have reading counts. This is a very easy way for you. So when you do purchase your resources to make sure that that stuff is added very, very quickly so that your students can find them that much easier. So I'm just basically going through here and selecting what it is that I want uh, this utility to clean up and enhance my records with. One of my favorites is this kid-friendly term. This is great for those young readers, great to make sure that we can put more of those, your resources in those young reader, reader hands. And what I mean by kid-friendly terms is instead of arachnids, we'll put in spiders. Instead of automobiles, we'll put in cars and trucks. And those things that those young readers are actually going to search for um, versus searching for those other terms that come standard with your mark records. This is completely unique to this bundle and it's very exciting. Once I have selected what it is that I want enhanced in my records, all I've got to do is click the run button, sit back, relax, and watch the magic happen. Behind the scenes, Alexandria and MightyNet are working together. We are enhancing your records. And then once they're enhanced, they're automatically loaded into Alexandria and you didn't even have to think twice about it. It's all done. This allows you to very easily maintain that data integrity so that Alexandria can do the best work that it possibly can for you. <clears throat> Above and beyond that, we're working on phase two of this integration. So that's phase one, we're working on phase two. And this best mark tool, you'll actually get a demo of and you'll be able and you'll dive deeper into this tool in another session. So I'm not going to go very deep in it, but I would highly recommend that you sign up or uh, attend this best mark uh, session. I, I believe it's after this one. Um, but within here, you're also going to get access to Mighty Nets mark source. So if I do a, a search for a particular record, I can even scan in the ISBN number if I want to you're gonna get access to their superb marks. MightyNet has the very best mark records on the planet. You cannot beat their records. And this is all included in your ITMS bundle, which is very exciting. So you'll get access to this mark source as part of the bundle. Phase two of this, we're gonna integrate this directly into Alexandria. You won't have to access this through best mark next, next phase, which will be coming out in the next six months or so. <clears throat> the other really amazing thing about this is you have full control to utilize what are called their workflows. This is where you can automate your cataloging process. It's absolutely amazing. Again, I will not go into details because you'll learn more about this in the best mark session, but to be able to automate and enhance your records with a single click of a button with this utility is priceless. It's saving you time so that again, you can save that time to work with your faculty, to work with your patrons, really improving 
those student outcomes. So again, I highly recommend you um, attending that best mark session because you get best mark as part of this ITMS bundle. Okay, now let's get into the main circulation area. One of our claim the fames here at Alexandria is the ability to really do anything that you want to do with three clicks or less. Our goal is to save you time so that time can be spent more wisely, again, spending time with your students, improving those student outcomes. So as you can see here, we have Matthew and we've got Harry Potter. If I want to figure out what's going on with Matthew, I can very easily click on this details button here and I, I'm right into everything that's going on with Matthew. I can see what books he has out, when they're due back. I can see any holds. I can see where he's at in the hold queue. I can see what reservations he has in place and charges and fines, et cetera. All this is fully accessible. I do wanna highlight that we do have a fully integrated textbook and asset management model, model, module, um that is uh also can also be added on as part of this itms bundle this allows you to very easily track and distribute textbooks as well as other assets that you're distributing it's 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 got a major roi on it where you know we're going to ensure that those valuable resources aren't getting lost that's what it's all about tracking those resources making sure that they're not getting lost and allows you to buy and purchase those resources that much more efficiently as well okay we can include the cover art we can exclude the cover art we like the cover art because of those young kids i've got three boys of my own um they're losing books the librarian can print this off to me so i can actually see the cover of the book take it home and i can find that book that's stuffed under the bed or or uh, lost in the closet somewhere same thing goes for um this main circulation window here anytime you bring up an, a patron right from here i can see the items they have out i can renew it i can renew them all or i can declare them lost just right here from the main circulation screen you can also see here that i've got harry potter if i received a new copy of harry potter and i want to catalog that real quick or i've got you know a few books to be dope that were donated to me that i want to get uh cataloged and out on the stacks to start circulating just by clicking on Harry Potter here, I'm right into the cataloging management uh, area of Alexandria. This is the easy user interface for folks like me who don't understand what all 10,957 tags are and what they mean. This, this just tells me what to type in there and it's gonna put it in the proper field behind the scenes for me. If you do like to catalog in MARC format, don't worry, don't stress. You have access to the full MARC record with Alexandria. Some of the other library vendors out there actually prohibit you from accessing certain fields, not Alexandria. Again, we're library without limits. You have access to the entire MARC record with Alexandria. To quickly and efficiently catalog a new book, we click the plus button here. I can scan in the ISBN number. I'm just gonna search off, search off of um, Hunger Games this is the area where we're going to integrate that best mark or that mighty net record source so instead of searching z3950 databases this will search mighty nets record source as well that's phase two that i mentioned to you earlier i'm gonna click search it's always going to search your local collection first just to make sure you're not duplicating your records there you can see that it's uh it found some in this ohio link i can see the actual mark record here itself and decide whether i like it or not I'm gonna say, yep, that one looks good to me. Hit continue. It's gonna throw it into um, Alexandria for me. This is where I can go ahead and edit it. Here's the subjects that came over, my different terms. If I wanna add any terms, such as curriculum terms, the nice thing about this is you can align your collection to your, your curriculum standards and things like that so that that then becomes fully searchable by your faculty and they can create lists and things like that off of that notes study programs etc once i click save it's going to say do you want to add a copy because obviously i have a copy there i'm going to hit, hit yes if you have pre-printed barcodes you can just put the cursor there and scan one of those pre-printed barcodes and it will put that barcode number in there if not you can have alexandria just automatically assign it a barcode and then later you can print barcodes from within alexandria if you want to um, once everything looks good to me i'm gonna go ahead and click save and i just cataloged that book maybe i have five copies of that book i don't want to have to go through that process 
another four times. So within Alexandria, I'm gonna go ahead and just say, I wanna duplicate this copy another four times, duplicate, and you can see I just cataloged those five resources. They're now fully accessible in the OPAC and kids can start checking them out, putting holds on them, et cetera. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, one thing I want you to notice is, notice that the cover art came over for me. Alexandria does have a utility built in that where it will go out and match off of ISBN number and automatically pull in the cover art for your collection. It won't find everything, just as a heads up. So we do offer uh, a paid subscription to what we call Sneak Peek. It's actually a, an integration through a company called Syndetics, um, which is owned by ProQuest. And that utility will actually go out and it, it'll find some of your older resources and automatically pull in that cover art for you as well. So you have both options. You get more than just cover art with that utility. Um, you get access to table of contents, book reviews, book awards. Uh, you can see the first chapter. You get a lot of additional uh, content through that utility as well. Okay. Now, if I click on Matthew, this is going to take me right into the patron management area of Alexandria. And as I mentioned, this bundle includes that integration with GG4L that allows us to seamlessly integrate with any student information system out there. So this patron management actually happens behind the scenes with your student information system. That student information system becomes that single source of truth. So anything that happens within that student information system <clears throat> automatically updates and reflects Alexandria for you. So it really takes that patron management side off of your plate, which librarians love and IT people love too, because they're not getting bombarded with questions on how to import patrons and, and those types of things. Okay. So that is a very high level of the main circulation window here. Another area that I want to go into real fast here is reports. Before we go to reports, I want to highlight a few other things that we have. We have an offline mode. So what this offline mode does, I can click on it here for you. When Alexandria, if you were to lose access to Alexandria for whatever reason, your internet goes down or, or anything like that, this window is going to automatically pop up for you. You can see that it's green. That means we're connected. But if it was red, that means you weren't connected. So while you're offline, while for some reason your internet is down, you can still continue to check in. You can continue to check out. And I guess if you're really bored while the internet's down, you can do inventory. Um, the other amazing thing about this, again, going back to our responsive design, you can pull this up on your phone and you can actually do remote circulation while, you know, anywhere you want to. So if you have bookmobiles or those types of things, this would be a great interface to use for, for that as well. We also have a self-checkout mode. So self-checkout is if you have self-checkout stations where you want your patrons to be able to check in or check out by themselves without having to have a, you know, a, a staff sitting there behind a circulation desk. All, that, all this is included, no additional charge. The activities module, this is very exciting. Oh, my license isn't uh, licensed for that, shoot. Um, the activities module is um, a module that is used to track activity outside of your basic circulation. So as libraries have evolved, people come into the library for a lot of different reasons. Well, again, to promote that library advocacy, we want to provide you a way, which is this activity module. I don't know why I clicked on there. Um, with this activity module to track why people are coming into the library beyond just checking out your, your resources. So they might be there for an author visit. They might be there for a, um, uh, a book club. Uh, they might be there using, you know, a, a particular room or something like that. This activity module allows you to very easily track the traffic in and out of your library. Again, to build that library advocacy and, and take to your administrator saying, hey, our library is being used in these ways. Okay, into reports. Alexandria has thousands of different reports. Our goal is to make sure that you can get the reports that you want from right within Alexandria. We don't want you to have to export two or three different reports merge them together so you can get the data that you want. You should be able to do all of that right from within Alexandria. Some of the most common reports are your barcode labels. 
So if I go into my barcode labels here, oops, I'm in my saved reports. Let me go back here. Um, your spine labels, our spine labels and all of our barcodes are very customizable. So you can see we split our barcode up into certain sections here. Within each section, I can pick and choose what I want to put in these different areas. I can choose the different colors, so on and so forth. Now, the nice thing about our reports is once you get them set up and, and printing or, or giving you the data that you want, you have the option then to save that report because you're, you're not going to want to have to go through and, and set that up every time. So every single one of our reports and utilities can be scheduled to run automatically. So once I get my report set up the way that I want to, I click create saved reports. They will now show up in my saved area here. Once they're saved, I can schedule them to run automatically. So let Alexandria do that work for you. Again, we want to save you time. A good example of this is overdue notices. <clears throat> I can have Alexandria automatically sending out overdue notices on the time schedule that I set. So if I want to give them a week warning, I can. If I want to have a countdown where it sends an email, you know, day five, day four, day three, day two, day one, I can do that. Um, this is also great for those K-12 institutions that are on the uh, webinar today. Uh, you may have, you know, teachers bringing in students on a, on a schedule. So you may want to have an overdue notice report that is sent to that teacher the day before they come into class to remind them or have them remind the students to, to bring those overdue books in. So again, every report, every utility within Alexandria can be set up, customized by you, and set to run automatically. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. I think at a high level, that is everything that I wanted to go through real quick here, but I do wanna showcase one more thing that we're extremely excited about. We have spent a lot of time with our users group um, going through and redesigning our user interface. So we've done a lot of usability testing. We've done a lot of um, <clears throat> our, our, that focus on that WCAG compliance and accessibility compliance. This is our new user interface that will be rolling out this summer. This is going to allow Alexandria to be fully accessible, every interface from any device, responsive design, et cetera. So this is, uh, again, we're very excited about this new user interface that's gonna be rolling out um, and it will be rolling out this summer, which will be in time for you know mo most of you who are interested in and moving to this ITMS bundle. Okay, with that, I wanna pull up the PowerPoint presentation here again, cause I wanna save time for questions. And I just wanna quickly highlight those e-resources that you get as part of this bundle as well. Again, you're going to get the world languages. There will be a session, I believe it's tomorrow afternoon, specifically to that world, lang that world languages collection. I highly recommend you attend that one as well because you do get that as part of this bundle. Then on top of that, you will have the option to add on any of these other additional resources um, that are provided through ITMS and as while having all of these fully accessible right from within Alexandria. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop there and open it up for questions and answers if possible. <clears throat> Thank you, Mike. I believe the team has been taking care of a couple questions online or in the Q&A. Fantastic, okay. Uh, I believe they're mainly, they're mainly in regards to uh, more personalized presentations. Um, Fabio, ¿tienen, ¿tienen alguna pregunta en particular que los pueda ayudar, Mike? Eh, bueno, tenemos preguntas eh, acerca de presentaciones puntuales para todos. En el stand está toda la información, los contactos tanto de Mike como de todo el equipo de ITMS Group. Eh, estamos para servirles, podemos programar las eh, sesiones que se requieran. Y bueno, en especial, pues, es las configuraciones de usuarios, como Mike lo explica, es ilimitado, etcétera. Entonces, 
Bye, yo creo que todo está muy bien. Eh, de pronto, un poco sobre la integración de Besmar, Mark, eh, Mike. ¿Qué opinas acerca de la integración de Alexandria con el normalizador Besmar? Esa sería una pregunta. Ok, Mike. Uh, I think um, Fabio was saying is to maybe go into a little bit more detail on the integration of Alexandria and Besmar. Ok. How does that work? Yes, absolutely. So there's going to be a couple pieces to that. Let me get back into here real quick. So the, the one main piece that is integrated currently is going to be the enhancements part that comes along with uh, the best mark tool. <clears throat> And that is here. So what that allows you to do is really enhance and clean and repair your records right from within Alexandria. These are the options that MightyNet provides through that enhancement uh, utility that generally without Alexandria, you would have through um, the Bestmark integration. Um, and I may need to, I think I closed out of that here real quick. Um, I'm going to stop sharing just for a quick second here, Gabriel. So I can log back into that real fast. I apologize. <clears throat> if I'm going down the wrong path with that, Fabio, please let me know. Or if there is something specific that you would like me to touch, touch base on. <clears throat> Are you going to be showing another screen, Mike? I am, yeah. I just okay. had to get out of there real fast. <clears throat> I apologize. Where did my Zoom go? Okay. <clears throat> I need to get best mark up here real quick for everybody. So right now, we're in, we've, we've done phase one, which is this enhancements. So I can clean up my records. I can add these different award notes. I can add these reading programs. I can add the kid-friendly terms. I can remove things from my records from the, this is what MightyNet calls their enhancements. <clears throat> But what you also get access to is you get access to their full best mark suite of products. And we will be integrating more of this starting next month. And, and the two key pieces that we will be integrating is, um, is that record source because they have the world's best and most extensive record source out there. And when I say record source, it's their access to their mark records. So when, when I went into Alexandria and I, and I searched for that particular book, we'll have the ability to search this record source right from within Alexandria. So you would not have to come into this interface to do that, okay? The other really powerful tool that comes along with, with Bestmark are the, what are called workflows here. This is where you can automate your entire cataloging process as a librarian. So you can go through and, and set, set this up to where you can have it clean up, move, move, uh, move tags, do global edits, to thousands and thousands of mark records in one fell swoop. So I can take 10,000 mark records, I can run them through one of these workflows that I as a librarian have said, I want this stuff done to my, my mark records. I can take those 10,000 records, run them through that workflow, it cleans them up, does everything that I told it to do, and it does it in a matter of seconds. So the other part of phase two is going to be where we have another utility built in here that will allow you to run your mark records through any one of those workflows that you've created in Bestmark with just a click of a button. Because right now, the way that it works is you would have to export the records out of Alexandria, import them into Bestmark. So I go over to here where they would show up. Um, <clears throat> let me go back to my records. They would show up in here and then I could run them through the workflow then I'd have to export them and then I have to import them into Alexandria. We want to, in phase two, eliminate 
all of those export imports. We just wanted a single click of a button to have the magic happen. I hope that's what you wanted me to touch on there, Fabio. If, if not, please let me know. Well, I think, I think yeah, it's my, yeah, yeah, it's I think my it's, thank you. Thank you. The, I, we're, we're receiving uh, some requests for individual meetings and we'll be able to schedule them afterwards and then really dig into all the questions. So thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime. Happy to support any way we can. We're, uh, we're, we're extremely excited about, about this partnership with ITMS. Like I said, this bundle is absolutely exclusive and unique to ITMS. Um, we're, we're very excited about this library without limits, really helping you promote library advocacy and, and giving you the, the top of the line library out of the box, I guess you could say it, say it solution. <clears throat> so thank you, uh, Gabriel, for, for the partnership and giving us the opportunity to to present this bundle to, to everybody today. All right, thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, excellent presentation. I think it's, it's a very good introduction of all, all the specs and characteristics of, of Alexandria. And then we will, we will go back with, uh, with our group of guests and, and have, uh, and schedule those presentations individually. I'll switch to Spanish real quick. Muchísimas gracias por participar, como Fabio les ha estado dejando saber en, en el chat, que se pueden poner en contacto directamente con, con ustedes. También tendrán la oportunidad de enviar vía el link del Virtual Booth más información. Eh, pueden solicitar más información y nosotros te, nos, nos podremos poner en contacto para realizar una presentación más directa con ustedes. Y acuérdense también, estas presentaciones están siendo grabadas para que las revisen después. Y justamente eh, la próxima reunión en 10 minutos es sobre eh, Bestmark, donde Fabio entrará en detalle con ustedes sobre, sobre Bestmark y ya pueden ver cómo funcionaría la integración de Alexandria con, con Bestmark. Perfecto. Muchísimas gracias. Los esperamos ahorita en, en 9 minutos para la reunión de uh, the best mark. Mike, Seneca, thank you so much for the presentation. We'll be in touch with you soon. Sounds great. Thank you. And thank you everybody for your time. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.